grid start. And Nick Horn there, uh, third position. You could see Josh Hardy there flashing his lights in celebration of the fact that it is now a dry race. And <laughs> what it does also mean is that our rear wheel drive competitors who finished a little bit worse off in the wet race. Oh, and we've we had go. a bit of a creep there from the Audi TT. And it's all got a bit messy as they come oh off the line. Goodness. So I think we've got a few false starts there. A couple of false starts, which meant that it was all very closed, closed up. And, and, uh, a bit of a of rubbing and so. in the melee rob dowsett then's already scrambled his way up to second place nick horn then in the number 78 machine perhaps not enjoying quite the advantage he had in the wet in the front wheel drive volkswagen scirocco uh, but changeable conditions here at the red bull ring and uh, nick horn then currently running down in eighth position just ahead of jack edwards in the Jaguar F-Type, who's really all over the back of him. He's keenly looking to make a pass. And, uh, oh, here we go. What's happening here? Josh Hardy is lapping up there with James Partridge and Tino Schilling. Here we have Rich K's machine also in the Nissan GTR. So, really, everyone's still running very bunched up, which is great to see. Yeah, so looking back from Liam Meredith's Subaru. We're looking back at Nick Horn as they approach turn two. And Nick's getting a little bit of a run here. Is he going to make the, make the pass? And we've got Josh looking up the inside of Richard. And we've got Nick looking up the inside of Liam. Look at the traction. Liam's getting on the throttle nice and early there. And he's managed to sneak past Richard and actually hook onto the back of Josh there. That's, that's some really impressive driving from, from Liam Meredith. And, you know, yeah, we say he, time he and time stopped again. the car and turned it and then was able to just get on the throttle. And he's gone up the inside of Josh as well uh, into turn three. Fantastic work by Liam. In terms of, of racecraft, he's about to keep, keep ahead of the Nissan GTR. Here's James Partridge. In fact, he's going to... Nick Horn's got underneath James Partridge there. Sure, quite. Uh... Not quite sure what Mrs. Horn would think of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a low-hanging fruit. I had to take it. <laughs> you just couldn't leave it. You couldn't leave it. <laughs> so, Rob, Rob Dowsett, two points. So we've got Nick a Horn, a little bit of a run here. Making a move for third. Oh my goodness. Okay. And it, is it going to be clean into turn one? That's a lovely move. Liam's going to cut back and get hard on that throttle and try and tuck into the slipstream, see if he can uh, get it back on the uh, run up to turn two. So Liam Meredith then unusually open for such a such a cunning driver. Indeed, yeah, it's normally the the widest impressor in the West. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it was it was really strange to sort of. You know, Nick got the run out of the last corner and, and got it done fair and square into turn one. It was a nice, clean pass, and Liam just didn't have a response. I, I thought Liam might be able to just get the line and get the drive out of turn one and, and try and run up to the next corner, but it um, wasn't to be. Oh, Tino, Tino, Tino Schilling's Schilling. fallen off! He's come, he's come off the circuit there at turn three. If that's going to be a, a frustrating one for Tino. We've still got five minutes left to go, so... He's going to have a little bit of time to just try and recover this. F-Type getting very out of shape, um, but looks like he's managed to collect that back and remains in position. But Nick Horn looks very comfortable where he is. That's, that's yeah, a... I, was, I was about to say, this is this is great work from Nick. He's uh, currently on the podium, three and a half, well, just four minutes, just shy of four minutes left on the uh, clock. So he'll be uh, just watching the mirrors, just seeing how, how the gap is back to Liam. But um, he's making a, a good fist of this. And Nick Horn, a man very well regarded in in the community of uh, MX-5s, of sim people, you know, whatever that is. Um, a very, very handy driver, but yet to perhaps show his, his full potential here at sim to race So he'll be feeling vindicated running in third at the moment. Um, not that I, you know, not to commentate and curse this by, by any means. Um, You've said it now. <laughs> I've, I mean, I've done it now. I've said, I may as well just do it. Um, but yeah, he, he, he'll probably be feeling about right with where, Indeed, where he is. Yeah. Where I he think Holly Wilmot, second place. But we are just waiting now. 
Here is Nick Horn, who's going to be pretty pleased with his uh, podium there in the VW Scirocco, the only front-wheel drive car in the event. So it's Nick Horn in third.